Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea. If you're new here, if you're not new, welcome back. I appreciate you coming back. If you are new, hi, how are ya? Comment, like, subscribe, all those things. Follow me across all social media. I am at I am CC Suarez across all social media. Today we have top fails number 59, I think 59 for you. I'm pretty excited about it, although I may not seem like it. I have a little bit of a cold, just like a little bit sickly, a little bit run down, not gonna lie to you. I feel a little bit run down. It took a lot for me to put on on makeup today. But we got to work, we got to hustle, and we got to hear from today's sponsor. Do you like wine? Do you like clean wine? Do you like good wine? Well, I do. And so does today's sponsor, Good Clean Wine. They actually just released their new Cabernet. It is my favorite. <laughs> gonna need them to send me all the bottles of this. Anyways, it really is my new favorite. It is a little bit sassier than their Good Clean Red. At Good Clean Wine, they don't add any preservatives, no added sugars or flavors or colors or anything like that. It's basically just Italian grapes that get you good clean drunk and you don't feel like garbage the next day. Good Clean Wine is owned by two beautiful women in the US and they are honestly two of my favorite people. It's good for an evening with your finest view, rich and concentrated like seduction after midnight, subtle and complex like a good morning kiss. It's clean with minimal intervention, produced and grown sustainably in small batches. It's smooth like a hand on your thigh, and it's bold like eye contact. I didn't make all that up, I just read the back of the bottle. <laughs> Anyways, I know that y'all really have been loving a good clean wine, not only their Spumante, their Rosé, their White, their Red, but their Cabernet is, it is my favorite. It is chef's kiss. It is spicy, sassy. If I was going to do like a collab, like a crossover collab with them, I would do one for like their Cabernet. It's, I know that's saying a lot. It's saying a lot. It's amazing. I will have the link and a coupon code and not an affiliate code, but a coupon code for y'all in the description box. Go ahead and get yours today and send me a picture, post it on your Instagram, tag them and tag me. I love it. Ugh, this is honestly the best medicine right now making me feel better. And obviously please drink responsibly. All right, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Gratitude for time freedom and location freedom and you know not having to worry about going to work and being able to spend time with him but today like i really felt it because this morning he had like a really rough night i know this woman has on a filter but her eyebrows look amazing also is she in the middle of like a mcdonald's play place or like a amazon distribution center because it is very loud where she is right now we were up at like 2 a.m he's been coughing a lot uh runny nose he's been like on and off sick for like over two weeks which is very like not like him he never gets sick and then his um, six-year-old molars are coming in so this is very new for me i didn't even know that you your molars start breaking through at six years old so i was like what is going on he had a blister turned into a blood blister wasn't sure why it went away now on the other side and it's right above his molars so i really do think it's related to that but he still has been sick for like three weeks um, and now it's bothering him a little bit so I was like, you know what, I'm not going to send him to school, let me get this checked out. I got cut off because Urgent Care called us back or if I could even call out of work because where I used to work there always had to be two people so sometimes it wasn't even possible for me to call out because it's hard to find somebody to replace me super last minute like in the morning um so i felt so much gratitude because i was like wow i can actually focus on what i need to do for my child like nothing else holds me back nothing else is more important nothing else comes before that like i don't have to take him to school i can take him to the doctor on a friday in the middle of the day and get this done and before becoming a mom i didn't think about those things like i didn't think like oh well what if i go to work and like my get sick what do i do is it going to be hard is it going to be easy it's not always easy to call out of work and i just felt so grateful because this gives you options being able to work from your phone you guys and make money from wherever gives you options also little disclaimer my voice is going to be deeper in this video <laughs> tony's voice is deeper right now too and he said something to me earlier today it was like nothing smexy at all i asked them i was like we need to because i was telling him like we should probably go get tested just in case and we're going to tomorrow but let's get the thermometer and so we did it and I, he like told me his temperature and i was like will you do it in your armpit or on your mouth my mouth but he like made eye contact with me and just like said it i don't know like his i think it's like our voices are 
like a little bit raspy right now because we have been coughing a lot, but it's like a dry cough. And I just looked at him and I was like, oh my God, don't do that. Don't do that to me. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Get away from me. Yeah. And he was just like, what? And I was like, no, you know what you're doing. Get away from me. Like, I don't feel good. <laughs> He's just so funny. But my voice is going to be deeper in this video. And that is why. Do I already have wine mouth? Yep, sure do. So essentially, her child was sick. She needs to take him to urgent care. She has to, you know, do something with him. And she was like, oh, I'm so lucky that I get to work from home or like work from anywhere because before I couldn't. I, I don't have any kids, so I don't know how that is. But I have worked with many, 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 many people who do have kids. And typically, if your manager or your higher up or your person you report to also has kids, they get it. And like, they understand that, that you might have to, you know, miss a day or half a day or, you know, take your kid to work or something like that. Like, they get it. And it does suck. But that's what, you know, sick time and PTO and stuff like that's for. Yes, I know. It sucks when you have to use that, like not for yourself, but that's typically what happens. So it's just the shitty way that she said it. Like whether you're a mom or you're hoping to be a mom one day, being able to work from your phone and make $3 signs from wherever gives, gives you options. How about instead of working from your phone, you take care of your kid? You know, not to, to mom shame, but like, would would you have maybe been able to catch this earlier and taking care of it and saved your kid a lot more pain if you were present in his life. And I don't know this girl. I don't know if she's a good mom or not. She could be. She could not be. A lot of times what I see and from people who have been in MLMs who have told me like, no, I was not being present with my kids. I was there, but I wasn't present. And that's really sad. Um, hi guys. Okay. Listen, I am over here with my Aussies. Say hi, ladies. Look, they're over there. <laughs> I am giving them a social media course and I'm teaching them that no excuse is valid. And that means too, when you're tired and you're sick and you feel like, oh, I'm not showing up today. Guess what? That's not valid. Today, I literally am almost out of like speaking because my throat hurts because I've been talking for the last, my whole life. I've been talking my whole life, okay? But I also have major backs underneath my eyes. So this filter's doing me good. If I felt the way I feel right now, I probably wouldn't show up, but I'm still showing up. And you still show up. Wanna see what it looks like when you're exhausted? What it looks like literally is this. Oh, oh, wait, what is happening actually? Oh, wow. Okay. I'm just getting to dinner. It's midnight. I have not left the computer today. Um, I'm eating egg whites and a piece of ham and beans. Like, that's my lean and green. Um, you know, having a little chit chat with you guys right now. Probably shouldn't what I'm eating, but you guys. Uh, misophonia, trigger warning. It was really hard for me to get through this. Tell me why almost all of these Mahoney girls, these like high ranking ones sound so congested and then their mouths are so dry. Like I can hear it. It's like they're smacking their lips and I can, I don't need to feel like I'm inside of your mouth. You know, I don't like that. Josh was saying, he was like, it's because they talk all day long. I was like, I talk all day long too. He's like, but you don't. He's like, you don't talk all day long. I was like, yeah, I guess that's kind of true. But they're on their Instagram stories constantly. They have to be, they have to be in meetings all day long. That's why their mouths are so dry. That's why they're sleep deprived. And this lady is absolutely deranged, unhinged. Like she is losing it. Trigger warning, if you have gone through a pregnancy loss skip forward like 45 seconds. So she put on her, and I did not include this in my video. I was not going to because we basically went through a miscarriage at the same time. And she was on the toilet doing Instagram stories while she was like miscarrying. That is the worst pain I've ever been in my life. It sucks. It's horrible. Obviously emotionally, yes, but physically too. It hurts so bad. She was on the toilet promoting Monet while miscarrying. She's in the million dollar club. She's that that she's at the highest rank. So when do you get the time freedom? When do you get to just sit back and not do anything? When do you do that, Mandy Sue? When? Like she has clearly lost her mind and it's crazy. I'm thriving. I'm telling you what, a lot of people are like, how are you doing this? How are you doing this with no sleep? I have not slept in an entire month, you guys. I have so much going on. I'm so busy. 
that I need Botox so I can keep my eyes like this the whole time. <laughs> Do you see that little owie? I'm about to go crazy. Why am I laughing? I'm delusional. This is what it is. Delusion. <laughs> if I look over there, do I see things moving? <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I have a retreat starting literally pretty much prepping all the things tomorrow. My throat. It's not COVID throat, but it's sore throat because I've been talking my whole life. I said earlier what is wrong with me help I need I gotta practice what I preach and what that is is be you do you be yourself don't care look like this eat like this look like messy <laughs> I was singing earlier, help, I need help, someone help. <laughs> What's that song? I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it after this little wheel goes around. The sad thing is, is that it's like, it's, I would be so embarrassed if I was her and I put this up. Obviously I would never put this up. Like give yourself a break. But when you're in an MLM, you can't have a break. It just shows like the person at the top can't even sleep. It's fucking crazy. And this is when they had just launched in Australia, a legit pyramid scheme, insane. And like, why are you acting like this? If I posted this, I would take it down like right away. That's so embarrassing. But she didn't. This had been up for 13 hours by the time I screen recorded it. And this is one that I actually screen recorded. Y'all know I usually, they usually never come from my own screen recordings. I usually get the screen recordings from other people, but this one was crazy. <laughs> the funniest thing on the internet right now. Sean repeat a million times. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> there, and I can feel the tears running down my eyes. And he's like, "So when you get home, don't be alarmed. It's gonna look like you've had a stroke." <laughs> the one side of your face doesn't move. <laughs> like you're smiling on that side, <laughs> and you're just stone faced on this. Side. <laughs> Look, hold oh, up, it's two faced. Hold oh, still. <laughs> A lot wrong with that person. So she's a salon owner. That blonde girl, Mandy. Trademark on YouTube. Yikes. Can't wait to dive into that channel. Yeah, she's very embarrassing. She's a public figure, obviously. I don't have to hide any of her shit. But like, why are you acting like that? Ma'am. It's the fact that I took my hair out of a bun and it looks like this for me. Like, what? It's like, look at my hair, bro. Look at the health. Look at the health. Look at the, look at the, look at the, look at the bulb. Look at the volume, okay? You need it, okay? You need these products in your life because I just had my hair in a bun the whole day. I don't even know how this is humanely possible because every time I used to put my hair in a bun, it would literally look, it would look like that. It would look like that sound effect. And like, look. Humanely? You don't know how that's hum humanely possible? Dre, I don't know how it's possible that you left Monet. This weekend, when you buy a conditioner, you get your shampoo for $10 with no minimum requirement. DM me hair to get started. Absolutely so embarrassing. I can't even watch the rest of her thingy. Choke on a piece of concrete and literally go to hell. I will see you in fucking hell. You fucking asshole. You fucking liar. You fucking manipulator. You goddamn wish you would have played your cards right. Thrive has one of the best compensation plans in network marketing you want to make money work it actually doesn't have one of the best compensation plans in network marketing i'd say the best one would have to be q sciences the reason why people are mad that they're not making 
a bunch is because you say they can do this in pockets of time. They say like, it's what you advertise. I bet if we went back on that girl's Instagram, we would see what she's advertising. And it's so contradicting every single time. It always says, you can do this in pockets of time. You don't have to do this full time. You can, you know, blah, 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 blah. It's like, girl, shut up. Social media content creation, but they are not doing it for themselves. And what the hell is the point of having a skill if you're not going to use it for your own benefit in your own life? No, but seriously, like if you study dentistry and you have the tools and everything at your house, but you don't clean your own teeth the way that you would when you're in the office or you're not buying the right equipment or the right things for your teeth for you to be healthy. If you are a great chef, but you don't go home and you don't cook dinner for your family the way that you would at work, like what? fuck is the point that's not a good analogy i'm pretty sure what she's talking about is people are doing like social media management and things like that but then they're not like joining a pyramid scheme like that would be for instance one of these people going to my the, my the marketing agency that i use and having like telling them that they need to join a pyramid scheme because they have all the tools they have all this and that and it's like well they make a lot of money why would they want to teach people to do what they do like that doesn't make any sense and a lot of times when you do something at work you don't want to do it at home a lot of times you don't want to do that i know a lot of there, there's a lot of professional chefs it's carpenters like have mastered their craft at work makeup artists like they don't have time to do that at home why would why would you why would you want to do that no like one of our good friends is the head chef at a very nice restaurant in tampa and i'm pretty sure when he's home he doesn't cook like he does at the restaurant like that's such a dumb mentality so i am just here to tell you guys that if you already have the knowledge if you're already using social media if you already know how social media works like I'm in account management, I'm learning Twitter ads, I'm learning Facebook, Pinterest, like all these different things. And I'm using it for my benefit. I'm literally using the things that I'm learning in my corporate job for my own benefit for me to grow my business. And if you're not doing that, find a new career. But it's not your own business. If it was actually your own business, that would make sense. That'd be great. For instance, I took, you know, a lot of sales and marketing knowledge that I have, and I've used that within YouTube. That's very helpful. Are you saying that you're going to be running ads and paying out of pocket for all that, like across all social media? Sounds like you're spending a lot of money. I don't want to call it a nap because it was a knockout, okay? Like, I was not tired. I slept the whole night, but the meds got me so drowsy that I was like... And I literally just KO'd for two hours. But I woke up to another person joining the WFAB movement. And it just makes me so grateful. Like, bro, I was literally KO'd. I've barely been working my business this week because I haven't been feeling like, you know, 100%. And still, you know, I wake up to the money in my bank account. I wake up to, you know, another person getting ready to change their life. And it's just insane. Like, I'm so grateful. Like, I just woke up, I saw that, and I was just so grateful because I was literally sleeping. I was literally like this, <laughs> literally half ass dead, bro. But I'm grateful that I get to do this for my bed. I'm grateful that this is my life and I'm not like not getting paid for weeks at a time just because I'm not feeling at a hundred, you know, my business is still operating. You know how else you can get paid to work from home, work half days, not work at all is when you actually have a real job with benefits. Like when I had COVID, I took off three weeks. It was rough. I got paid though, and it was fine, which this is very strange, but typically around like Christmas time, I get sick. It sucks. For instance, I'm sick right now and it's fucking what, four days till Christmas. So that's obviously awful, but any clips I have from her and Monique like did not age well. And it's just funny that she, you know, kind of alluding to the fact that she's really only going to get like paid like that money when she is able to recruit someone. Like girl, that's what, $100, $200? Is that really going to benefit you that much? You could also actually have paid time off. That would also maybe work for you. This is Colleen from No Shame Sales Game, which 
You should know at least. I was in sales. Technically, I still am, but I was in sales for what, 10 years? But I started following that that profile and I didn't realize that it was like just for MLMs because it's very like I, I follow like sales humor and stuff like that. And they're hilarious and they get me. They really, really get me. It's just the cringiest shit. She's had me blocked for probably like a year now. She's had me blocked didn't do well in Monate or whatever MLM she was in. And now she does the whole like coaching and cons- like MLM consulting training type of thing like Boss Lee tries to do. So it says the anti-MLM community, it's a pyramid scheme. And then she says me changing the direct sales industry. She has absolutely beautiful teeth. Like good God, this woman. You can call it direct sales. You can call it social selling, you call it retail. It's multi-level marketing. Let's call it what it is. And she's acting like she's doing so much, but she's not. (laughs) She's not doing a goddamn thing. What are you doing, Colleen? No shame sales game will finally get her video from me. Okay. This one also has copy ridded music, but things we will not teach you when you partner with us. Cold messaging slash copy and paste, being inauthentic, salesy marketing, caption for more. And then the caption says, so what will you teach me then? So it says like cold messaging, copying and pasting. The thing is, is that when we say cold messaging, sure, technically a cold message is just out of nowhere. I'm, you know, cold calling is what that comes from. But I'm calling you out of nowhere. We've never talked before. And I'm basically trying to pitch you something, right? You know, the the messages that are just, hey girl, I think you'd be great at doing what I do and blah, blah, blah. Have you ever thought of monetizing your social media? And I'm like, bitch, I do that. Stop. Even, you know, them trying to start a conversation to pitch you this. I don't care if it comes in, you know, three different interactions down. It's still slimy. It still makes people feel shitty. It actually makes them feel worse when you do it like that. It comes off very inauthentic and slimy. (laughs) It comes off horrible. These girls are absolutely stunning and I wish they would get out of MLMs and get into, I don't know, fucking real estate or actually starting their own business, starting, you know, a marketing firm. I, I say it's not that hard to, you know, start a social media marketing agency or service. It is. I mean, I know how hard, I know how hard my girls work. They're amazing. I'm talking to you, Carly. You're amazing. And obviously, Kirsten, you're great too. I love you. And yes, it's a lot of work. Those girls work so fucking hard. It isn't, I don't know how, they have more hours in the day than I do. Like they have like a good 30 hours in a day. I do not. But with these people, like just do something else. Stop, put your energy into something that's not a fucking scam and you will most likely make money. Wow, you hate MLM. Haven't heard that one before. You should go make a video talking about how much you hate a certain company or how much you hate someone because hate and spreading it really helps, right? What is this? We get it. You're feeling sassy. You don't have to like, don't do that. That's not cute. Is it just me or is this the first time she has been put on blast by a YouTuber? That's the vibes I'm getting. Also, one thing that's really funny, I would say multiple, but many people who have worked with her in previous MLMs. Yeah, she's been in previous MLMs. She's been in three, at least three, reach out to me. And then ones that are in her current downline reach out to me. And I'm not saying this is the truth, but this is what has been alleged to me that she plays the victim and like makes such a big deal out of even the smallest little things. Like if someone just disagrees with her and like they're on her team or like maybe they're on a separate team, but in the same MLM and they just like say, hey, you know, we're not supposed to do that or something like that. (laughs) She goes off just the victim mentality is so ingrained in her and it's so weird for me and I never want to be you know that kind of woman who's like oh a woman of a certain age shouldn't act this way an adult shouldn't act like this like are you in high school ma'am are you okay tearing down the way someone looks okay tearing down their dreams and ambitions and their goals Spreading hate never works. When you have something that you feel passionate about, picking on one person or a group of people and making them feel less than isn't going to make it so that your thoughts are heard. Maybe they're heard by other people that love hate, but I'm gonna tell you what, good quality people will not follow hatred because hatred is not something that we want in our heart and our lives. So learn to love people. If your hopes and dreams are unethical, 
I'm going to call you out on it. Just because you have something as your hopes and dreams doesn't mean it's a good thing. What if your hopes and dreams are murdering people? Yeah, don't do that. What if your hopes and dreams are scamming people? Okay, don't do that either. What if it's being in a cult? Please don't do that. There's going to be someone to call you out. But just because you label it as hate because you're, I don't even know what to call you. She gives me Trisha Paytas vibes that whenever you confront her, she's like, you're hateful, you're a troll, I'm scared for my safety. And it's like, afraid, me, I'm afraid of what? Like, stop playing the victim, stop. And so I'm, I'm never gonna change anyone's mind. Do you know how many people are in MLMs that watch my videos? Quite a lot. A couple people on your downline, actually. Watch out, girl. And then just because I said watch out, she's probably going to screen record it and be like, oh, that sounds like a threat. Actually, legally, that was not a threat. I was telling you to watch out. There was no promise of a harmful action. So no, it's not a threat. But of course, that is what happens a lot of times is when people are in cults or NMLMs, they want to perpetuate this us versus them mentality. And it's really unfortunate and very harmful, especially when they're using the victim mentality along with fear mongering and then also the us versus them. It really just gets a hold of you and it sucks. All right, friends, that's actually going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed Top Fails number 59. Can't believe we're almost at Top Fails number 60. That is insane absolutely insane. I hope you enjoy your Christmas and the rest of your holiday. I'm going to keep posting for the rest of the month. I was going to take off, but then I was like, mm, I don't want to. So I might just film a bunch of videos, send them over to the editor, and then hopefully he'll be able to get them done so I can get them posted. I hope you have a great rest of your night weekend whenever you're watching this. Make sure you get some good clean Cabernet from Good Clean Wine. It is absolutely amazing. I always have the link for Good Clean Wine in the description box of my videos, along with the coupon code for y'all. Again, that's not an affiliate code, but they did sponsor this video. They are a very, very loved and appreciated sponsor of my channel. And if you order, definitely tag me and Good Clean Wine. I would love to see your photos because it's good and it's clean and it's wine. And as my cousin Patrick says, it gets you good clean fucked up. So stay spicy as that sign says. It does not say stay sploy. Why would you think that? It says stay spicy. Just like this Cabernet. Not to get weird, but I know that the holiday season can be very stressful for some people and anxiety filled. Just know that you are worth it. You are valuable. Your feelings are valid and someone loves you. Might not be the person you want to have those feelings from the most, but someone does. And most of all, you should love you. So happy everything. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.